Hey, a folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3! This is a random succession game, the Extra Life Dynasty, and we're still playing as King Sinian here, the first king of our dynasty. 67 years old, his health is still fine, because we are boosting his health in a few different ways, and he's not going to go on forever, of course, but hopefully we can, uh, you know, squeeze out a few more things, if nothing else right now. There's some added stability by just having him hold on to the kingdom uh, for as long as possible while things get established. Um, we do have a little bit of a thing with um, one of our holdings here, which we're currently wanting to keep, the Agulem. Really should be assigned to Sinian II, who is... I think this one here? No, Infante? Oh, you have a Duke. Hang on a sec. What are you? Oh, my grandson! Aha! My grandson uh, is the Duke over here, and we should assign it to him, but we're just going to hold on to it for now for some money. We're in two wars, but they're not they are not really, in a sense, our wars. Um, they're wars we are, we've got pulled into because of alliances, and they seem to be going fine. I know they got negative war score over here, but they're, they're going to be A-OK. -okay. They've got more troops over here, even not counting my own. Uh, or is this counting my own? Would this be my 4,000? Or is that literally just his? I mean, I suppose I could go and siege out some more, but what I was going to do is just sit on some money, make a little bit of cash, and not worry too much. This king here, King Sinian's not a terribly good person, right? We are sadist uh, and arrogant, and uh, we've certainly played like that. On the other hand, you know, look how much we've been big in our territory. Sometimes bad guys win. It's just the way it goes in this world. Uh, so we're going to let time kind of tick by here. If if the war is going to drag on, it doesn't look like it's going to end up. We will raise up our troops here and uh, help out a little bit. But I may as well bank a little bit of money first. Rather than spending money by having our, especially our men-at-arms raised. They're quite pricey. Um, most of our provinces are stabilizing. It's actually kind of assignments. We do still have some uh, control boosting over here, which is fine. We got some conversions. Um... I might want to do some cultural conversions. I think I will. And, um... Five years, five years. Is it all five years? Okay. So I'm going to do that, even though it's also quite nice to raise more taxes. Um, the reason is the uh, long term, it would be best if this was a monoculture for stability, right? For for our people and just make it a lot easier for them to uh, run things long term. So yeah, it would be nice to hit the extra taxes, but I think a good long term investment is uh, as much land as possible. Make it Castilian, make it uh, Mualadi, and, and then we'll have fewer problems. Looks like our buddy over here is looting some battle. I mean, it's fine. We don't really lose anything if they lose things. I'm feeling a little bad, I suppose. I could go and siege out this barony to start off with. I know, probably just killing some of those troops would be good. Someone wants to kill my daughter, Mafalda. What? My brother, they did. She's pregnant. Let's raise some troops. Oh, no. Whoa. Um, actually, my ship kind of makes a lot of sense. Oh, white piece. Is that the one I was just about to attack? No, it's the other one. All right. So they white pieced the one they were losing, which I think involved fighting for some territory over here. I'm not sure. Or I guess it was this. Which, honestly, maybe I'm happy that this didn't flip to my ally. If that's actually... No, this isn't actually what they were fighting for. It was this land was part of the war, but it wasn't actually for this. Um, This guy is plotting against my daughter. Can I imprison him? Really? Well, I guess he hasn't actually done it yet, right? Lose opinion, close members. No, crime, rightful imprisonment. Oh, maybe only when I hit this button. Oh, he's not here. He's somewhere else, so I can't imprison him. Potentially murder him at range, but I'm not sure that's the best thing for us to do. Probably have to spend money bringing people into the war. That sort of thing. Ah, they finished the siege, which is a little bit annoying. Or did they? No, I think they ran. I don't know if they completed the siege. Maybe they unsieged something? Could be. Anyway, we're going to smack that. More pregnancies. Hooray. <clears throat> I don't think... Yeah, I'm just going to say they'll probably keep running. We could sit here and siege this, though. Since apparently that's something. <gasps> Learning perk. Yes. So, 
mean, we don't really need, well, honestly, maybe we should embrace celibacy because of our um, disease, but we are lustful, so I don't see ourselves doing that. Knowing thyself, I don't think it really changes anything whether or not you know your death is coming. So we may as well go down carefree, get some stress reduction. Actually, we're pretty capped on stress as is. Oh, we don't have money. Wait, oh, because we're a kingdom, the hunt's super duper expensive. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. That is somewhat unfortunate. What, what, are the, uh, what is the war for? Oh, we're just defenders. And we have the war goal wherever it is. Okay. As I was gonna say, I could target a war goal or something. I guess if I went for the capital over here. Or down there, which I want to do. Ah, oh, we've got a new daughter. Fecund. That's going to be great for our family. Wonderful. Love to see it. Oh, right. I pin these. So you are charming. Aha! Which does make you good at intrigue. So we're going to focus on intrigue education. And I am going to educate you. Because I'm very good at intrigue. So there you go. My daughter and ward... And over here, you are bossy, which is going to be marshal or stewardship. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll do stewardship. And then what we'd want to do at this point is educate you using someone who's got high stewardship, which we don't really have uh, anywhere. Uh, I guess my wife can do it. She does have a 12. But we can probably go ahead and unpin these. Well, maybe, you know what, I'll keep a tislet um, pin because we are educating her. And it'll be interesting to see, especially if we die, we'll, you know, we can still keep an eye on her with my next ruler. Okay, so that war is over. We'll disband. Done, 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 done. My nephew's created another cadet branch. All right, they just want a little bit more control over being able to boot people out of things. Okay, so we're going to start making money again, which is good. I would like to start more wars. It'd be really great to take this and then move on to Armagnac and then just have control over all this coast. And we might do something like that. Although for a lot of the war starts we're going to have to do, we are going to need positive prestige, which we don't have. And that, I think, is from when we called in a billion people into our independence war. I think it was the independence war. I don't know. It was something anyway. Wow, that is uh, some popular opinion. My baby's twins! Milia and Felipe! Aww. May you grow strong and wise. Pick a thieves. Who's this? My son and heir, uh, Rossesthes. I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced, but deal with it. And my vassal, around the cast of Deep in Conversation, found some common ground. Reclusive. And this one hates me. Is that the kind of common ground I want them to have? See some treasure grow, help it bloom. Opinion boost on both, lose opinion on both. Or a challenge which isn't terribly useful. And if we lose it, we lose prestige. It'd be annoying. Sure. Go ahead. Be friends. See if I care. Friends with my enemy. I mean, come on. So we are doing some swaying here on this guy. I mean, he's pretty swayed already. Why are we swaying him? My Alama? Hang on. Wasn't this called something else before? Was it a... Like a Mufti or something? Maybe when we became a king, it changed the title of this. I guess that might make sense. If you're if you're Christian, does it go like priest, bishop, cardinal, or, or some damn thing like that? No, I don't think that's right. Anyway, we don't really have to sway you. And we just we just got some, which is going okay. Maybe you go to my vassals. And is there no no way to sort this by like opinion? Kind of silly. I mean, I could use the people finder, I suppose. Um, but it might make sense to sort of suck up to a few of these. This guy really hates me. He wants to see it on council. Actually, um, why aren't you on council? Oh, because Sirius is a 21. Damn, I was going to say, 19 diplomacy is amazing. I don't know. We could try to sway you. We might be able to get you on our side. Liege holds the jour duchy. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure that can happen. What are the percentages here? Well, 95% chance. And I think we can we can do it multiple times. All right. Well, we'll do that and try to get you a little, little less cranky anyway. Or I could just imprison you and torture you. You know, one of those things. We're not going to get ourselves another wife. What is... Oh, ransom. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot we were fighting wars. And we might have a whack of prisoners in here. Torture. Torture. 
none of these are family members. Good. And then we are fine if we can get some money. No, none of these want money, so they're gonna stick around here. Probably die in prison, but maybe, maybe the torture cooldown will come up. Call to war. I mean, could you stop? I mean, we can't, we can't turn it down. I guess they still spend the prestige, so they must have a lot banked. All right, who are we at war with? Down here? Would you win on your own? No, I think, I think the soldier count includes all of my soldiers. So I don't think he would win on his own. Do I want to get on the boat? 31 gold. Let's just, let's just walk. I know, it'll be a long walk. Well, you know what? Maybe it would just be cheaper in the end to get on a boat. Because we'd have to pay the money up front, but the war would be ch um, shorter, and we are spending a fair amount of money. All right. Boat it over there. That's going to have to be okay. Uh, although, if he is going to siege this out, and it looks like he will, I might go somewhere else. Oh, Omen. Dark Omen. Bad Omen. That's not good. Health penalty. I can't afford health penalties right now. Health poor. Okay, you are sieging that, so I will go here instead. Because that is a capital of, I think, one of the allies. Oh, I can imprison someone. My son. Known criminal. Attempted to murder family member. A family member? Alright, we'll imprison you, but I won't torture you. Oh, I can ransom you? Okay. That works for me. Just don't murder anyone else, would you? I mean, come on. Or at least, don't get caught. It's embarrassing. Betrothed can marry. What was her deal here? So, our granddaughter, Sibelia. Why did I set a betrothal with you? I mean, you're a granddaughter, but you're not of the family. Uh, they're related. Chance of being inbred. What? Well, I don't... I mean, I guess I don't care. Sure. Whatever. I mean, I, I guess I don't care who you marry, and I don't care if they're inbred, because, you know, you're related, but you're not of our dynasty, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we've seen... Did, is this no war score? Why is there no war score from sieging this? What? Did we get more prisoners? Mirror? Okay. I'm actually quite surprised. Should probably just go and try to beat up these guys. I mean, it's still gonna mess with them from having that. I'm surprised it's not war score. I mean, I assume these this is an ally, but you don't get war score from sieging allied territory. What? Doesn't sound right. Oh. Okay, hold on. Um. Queen. Children. People becoming friends. Oh. Well, that would be quite good if we could get our son to be friends with another family member. Or I could say my son and heir will do fine on their own, which will give me prestige. But if these two are friends, they're less likely to cause trouble with one another. Okay, you know what? He's 40, He's 49, and this guy's 9. Um... A nine-year-old covetous gambler. So that's not actually going to benefit very much because they're going to, he's going to die like, you know, not that long from now. So I think we will take the prestige. If they're both younger and could have a lifetime of friendship and, you know, family cohesion ahead, I would do that. But as is, we'd take the prestige boost instead and we'll probably find more value there. All right. Let's smack this guy. Nope. New alliance and they might join the war. Well, I guess it's that much more important that we take out some of the other combatants here at this dark point in the game. Chat's gone. You are going to run. I suspect you'll probably run over here or something like that. If he runs to there, which is possible, then he's just going to get booped anyway. No, yeah, he's going to run through. Scheme at court. Someone wants to kill Raimondo, my Alamar. 
second time something's come up with that? No, I guess I'm just thinking there was another murder and, and then I just realized I was swaying this guy that wasn't helpful. Oh, you're gonna run down to there. All right, bleeding out. Yeah, so I'm still curious as to why Hand me the tourniquet. Why is it that I'm arrogant that I'm not willing to do a tourniquet on someone? Step back to my patient. Oh, I guess because I want to do it all alone. Now, if we had any stress, we would do this. I'll do this because I could learn some learning lifestyle. Point flip. Got the loyalty hook as well. Um, yeah, we can stop being rivals. That's fine. I saved a life today. Okay. So a map. Someone's planning murders. Oh! Wait, I wonder if I could get this only because I'm both sadistic and a torture? I don't think so. I think either one of these was triggering this. Gain dread. Hostile, otherwise malicious scheme is exposed. And Bornardo is killed by us. And we're going to become more vigilant. Existence of a murder you scheme is exposed. Bitch, please. Well, that, wait, our odds are not good here. I mean, you're in someone else's court. You're in someone else's court and you're trying to murder me? I'm gonna start the scheme anyway. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. We just have to spend a bunch of money to make it go. Which doesn't sound very useful. Um, increase opinion. Yeah, but we've got a sway going on. I guess with someone else, admittedly, but... Okay, so we're moving over there. <clears throat> the war is gonna be won. So that's gonna be alright. Now fascinated by royal progress of innovation. Right, so we got the CB. Uh, right here. Casas Belli innovation. Um, allows you to use individual du jour county Casas Belli. So maybe it'll pay off, maybe it won't, I'm not sure. I can 100% win this. I can do it this way with torture and gain dread. I think our dread's probably capped though, yeah? Yeah, and it doesn't decay, so we'll just do this because it should be spotless. Are you serious as a cannibal? Club-footed. Powerful up. Could you... Could you maybe not be a cannibal? Huh. We should, uh... We should disinherit him or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, reincarnate as him. Things could happen. Let's not worry about it. Alright, so we're just going to each this out. Maybe we'll get prisoners... My master, it is my rival, Fakila, who's plotting to kill me. Right. My rival who lives somewhere else. And is currently ill. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, how many rivals did I have? Just the one, because I just stopped being a rival with someone. More, ooh, a new perk, which doesn't really matter. Because it's not giving us any kind of health boost right now. Speaking of, when does this go away? Oh, jeez. Bad Omen lasts for 10 freaking years? Well, that is going to kill me. And I think that's related to the murder sp plot. I think that's one of the decisions they can make. And in this case, it was a very good move because it's dramatically increasing the chance that I die of just, you know, ill health. They're going to de-siege that, which is a little annoying. Again, because I probably won't generate any war score doing this. It's a money. It'd be nice if I got prisoners. Um, so just a walk here will help. Yeah, look at that. They just they just removed all the war score, and they are gonna go and I think try to attack over here. You're dodging. You don't have to dodge. Reinforcements are coming, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna get caught. could have stayed there, and I would have reinforced you. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go and siege this out for you. Man, I gotta do everything in these wars. Just costing me tons and tons of money. Oh, Sinian can marry. Hello, Sinian. Oh, your spouse died. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, we'll get one-eyed comfort eater. Yeah, aren't we all? Overseer. Uh, not our niece... Let's, um, let's filter for inheritable traits. 
Well, that's not bad. Okay. Let's do that. Alliances as well. And empty council position. Oh, we don't have a spy master. Let's see. We got a 17 and a powerful vassal. We've got a 22 who's not a powerful vassal. I mean, this guy's kind of a shit. Usurp my title. Yeah, he's not going to like us regardless. Like, we can get rid of the minus 40, and I think he might end up with, like, a plus 20 from being on the council or something. Maybe it's plus 10. I don't know. So it's a 50 or 60 point swing, but that's still not going to make him positive. So, and he's not actually the best. So instead, what we'll do is we'll go for Duke Sinian II, who is our grandson, who likes us, and is more skillful anyway. And actually, I'm shocked isn't considered a powerful vassal. Now, if these guys go here, we might be forced to abandon this siege. Except I'm not gonna. Clearly, this siege is really important, so we're gonna focus on that. Oh! We got poor eyesight. Learning experience. I don't know if I care about a hook with this guy. We're not gonna spend the money. Or, hold on, I could just gain some cash. Let's do that. Since I'm gonna die soon anyway, me getting another trait, especially the traits aren't gonna do anything for me short term. It's The next one is, what, unlocking celibacy, which we're not gonna do. Um, it's gonna be better to have the money, which at least will be inherited by someone. I can designate a guardian for you, who is bossy with a stewardship focus. Is my wife not supposed to do it? Maybe it was, this is another one of that, those traits. All right, we'll do that. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, there's 100% war. Well, I think that prisoner will get released when the war ends. So let's make sure to do some torturing first, because we can. Okay. Yeah, that war is going to get 100%ed. In, well, it's 100%ed now, so it's going to get pieced out in a second. So much stress being inflicted on other people. <laughs> Come on, peace out, dude. There it is. All right, disband. Done. I'm, th I'm thinking, like, should I just start a war? Okay, first of all, it would be very nice to do this. I have claims on a county. And it should be fine, especially if I call in all my allies. I'm tempted to call in the Sultan just on the basis that then maybe he won't start his own shit. I raid these guys. Now, we could go for the war goal right away, but I'm actually tempted to go directly for the capital. Because we might just be able to capture someone. So right now, okay, we do have fairly equal number of stuff. We should call someone in. So, yeah, I'm going to call in the Sultan. It's 350, though. It would stop him from doing shit. The nice thing about the family members is that we spend Renown. Now, Renown is a long-term... You know what? Who cares about um, prestige? Let's just call in the Sultan. So he probably won't start his own bullshit. There you go. It's going to tank my prestige, but it's okay. Plus, it'll really help to guarantee that we win, because he's got such huge numbers. Uh, I can get a perk if I get stressed. I could just get money. Gain a secret. Uh, again, I think what I'm going to do is just get the money, because I don't think... Say, so I can get these two and know when I'm going to die. If I could get all the way to healthy, that will help. I mean, it can only stave things off for so long. I'm going to take the cash with the intention that it's going to help our, our future heirs here. And create titles, but they're going to get created anyway. I mean, if I need prestige, I suppose I could just go ahead and do that, too. Alright, so he's going to be forced to go here and defend, which actually is working out not too shabby for him. We do have the numbers advantage, but we're going to lose this battle. Where's all my ally? Well, they're going to show up now, but... What was the leader over here? Only a 16. That's actually not great. I probably could have had a better leader. That might have made all the difference. But there you go. Now the ally is going to go and do that. Well, good thing they're finally doing something useful. Considering all the times I've helped them. I might be confused about who I'm helping and who I've called in, but... In general. Alright, I'm going to come over here to stand on the war goal. You do have this military engineer here as well. I could recruit you, but I'm not gonna. Actually, we don't have anyone with tremendous skills, so I know. I guess we're gonna keep our son over here. The military engineering trait, at least. Are we gonna... No, these guys are running away. Oh, and actually, our ally might end up sieging out that because they're standing there. 
Yeah, they are. Actually, it's going to go really fast. So I'll stand in the capital instead. Uh, someone might join... Oh, and then our Spy Master. No longer a ruler... Okay. Was he my Spy Master? And then things changed? I guess so. Alright, I'm going to get Baron Manrique here. He's not a powerful vassal. But, I mean, he's pretty good, so I can't complain too much. Duke Manrique's contract. Oh, hello. Great grandson and vassal. <clears throat> um, I don't think I will. Because who knows, maybe I'll reincarnate as him. I know, we're sadistic and we're kind of mean and things, but now we're thinking a little bit more about the future. Anyway, so these two should work out pretty well. That siege there is going fast, and that's the actual war goal as well. And even six months for the capital isn't too shabby, which should give us the 100%, because there's a good chance we'll capture someone useful. And if nothing else, we'll have plenty of land. Especially now that we've got the war goal and everything. So we're going to do that. I mean, they are sieging out some stuff over here, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully our ally is going to go and boop those. Because I want to keep sieging out what we've got right now. I could call a hunter a feast. I'm not stressed right now, though, which is nice. I was stressed for a little while. But all of that has gone away. I don't know, just take out my aggression while torturing people. And there we are. So we have captured some people. So before anything gets released... Okay, well, not you, not you. Hooray, you're 16. You're old enough to be tortured. Okay. We will enforce our demands. So be it. Disband all. And I think I will just go and mass ransom at this point. I'm hoping it doesn't do it in a stupid way. Because I think it actually take, accepts any ransom. I think we got some partial ransoms over here. So I think we... I guess I could have just done it through this user interface. Rather than the other one. Things we share. Oh, my wife and I becoming closer friends. Well, that's nice. Okay, we're at 5 of 5, which is great. We've got this. Uh, we don't have any prestige. So, I don't know about war starting. Disley. My daughter... Oh, the one with the intrigue focus. She could be callous, which boosts her intrigue even more. Or arrogant or compassionate. Nope, let's have her stay cal uh, callous. All right. There was something else I was going to check here. Oh, yeah. So, declare war ideas. I could holy war for a duchy. For the Jarldom of Brittany. Except... I don't have 200 piety. I'm close, though. I could spend the money to do a, pap er, a piety thing. Which I might want to, just because... I'm going to do the cheapest pilgrimage. Yeah, I'll go to Cordoba. Just get a little piety injection. Holy War for Brittany. It means spending some money, which I'm hoping to pass on, which we could also develop over here, but... Schemer... Okay, yeah, you know what? I don't really care too much if you decide to murder that person. Bandits. I might become wounded. I really don't want to become wounded. Unharmed. Stop the madness and pay. Uh, we can do Intrigue Challenge. We'll lose some prestige, but oh well. Being wounded would almost certainly just end us instantly. There we go. Beautiful. So, if now we go back and talk to the Jarl over here, and I Holy War for all of Brittany. Bam. I didn't even check, like, relative troop counts on both sides. <laughs> Probably okay. Right, we're going to beeline for the capital. We're definitely good right now. That actually might be his troops coming home from raiding. And I'm home for the pilgrimage. Uh, ooh, Lane can have a guardian. Curious. So you've got the learning education. Okay. Sort by learning. And we'll get this guy. Enemy. 
investigating. Okay. Oh no, these are different raiders. Okay. Uh, there we've got some troops. There. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, that's France, who they're also at war with, and we landed directly on them. Um, that's really annoying. I mean, I knew they were in a war, but landing directly on them really sucks. There's their actual troops. Maybe they can run into France. Should I just... You know what? Who cares about prestige? I don't think prestige gets um, inherited in any way. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to spend the prestige. I won't do dynasty members. We're going to scooch forward a little bit here. See, there's their actual army. Okay, which they're going to dodge. I'm going to go and start sieging here. Uh, okay. So I was just wondering what would happen when the war ends. You know what? We got this, right? Let's do it. We're going to just fight France. It's going to be fine. We're going to put a cut in here. Although, the other thing we're going to do... Hold on is we're going to call in our dynasty members. We're going to spend the renown. Should we start as well. We'll spend the renown. We're going to bring them in. Because I think that's an excellent idea. I can ransom you, so I will. You can marry. Um, I don't care who you marry. Here, marry this old guy. Whatever. I don't care. We're not going to declare wars. We're not going to do this. We've got disabled buildings in two. Why are they disabled? Oh, we just inherited this. So it's going to it's gonna take a tick, and then it'll go. But we are over our limit. I know we can grant to a low noble, but uh, that's actually kind of annoying that I can't just grant to a family member, which is a perfectly legit situation here. Let's, um, and I got to put in a cut, which I will do in a second here. So not a ruler is of our dynasty. Uh, I don't know if I can grant you land. No. So, we need mail. And then I don't think I care who I give it to. I mean, tell you what, we'll sort by learning. Destry Urquez, because, you know, it's a temple, it's a mosque. So I'm going to grant you the title of the Mosque of Tui. Which will put us back within our realm. Alright, guys, we're fighting France. I think it's going to be fine. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to find out exactly what can go wrong next time. See you then. Bye-bye.